I thought that what well, and since that we are like on a budget and we don't have any animations, fancy animations going around. Uh, instead, uh, what I did and what I think it will help a lot is I printed this uh, all the components that uh, we'll be using. So uh, I think that this this will help. Let's start with a basic uh, diagram. First of all, we have the BMW head unit and what I decided is that I wanted the MP3 and uh, the Bluetooth connection, right? So I had to buy like an MP3 interface and I bought the Yatur, which I, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And I bought that one because well, it was like um, cheap and it had like really uh, nice reviews. Uh, it worked like very, very well for me this, this last uh, two years. And it also has like uh, the SD card and well, obviously the USB, the aux in uh, for the audio and the Bluetooth. So um, this Yatur MP3 interface, it comes with a patch cord, which what it does is uh, it will plug into your uh, BMW head unit and it will plug into your audio harness uh, that comes from from the car. It actually replaces the the trunk CD changer cable that goes directly to the BMW head unit and it will uh, provide all sort of um, uh, connections right so now that we know that we can have the Bluetooth and USB, the ESD and AUX uh, connections, is that I, I thought that we could probably to make it uh, look better, uh, look like uh, have like an OEM look. What I did was I hide this on the on the glove box, and what I did is I bought this one, uh, which is the USB and auxiliary socket, which comes from the um, I believe it's the um, the E90 model BMW. This is OEM as well, and this is the the part number. I will love, will leave all the part numbers in the description below. This is going to be placed on on the on your dashboard as you saw in the demonstrations before. Uh, it also uh, goes applies for the E30 because it has the same shape. And with this uh, socket, it comes uh, like a cable that it will plug. Let me look. So this is the socket, okay. This is the cable that comes with that socket. Right, let me see. Okay, so this is the uh, the socket with the with the cable connected okay uh, basically what uh, what i thought it, it was uh, useful to be like a like an extension uh, to be able to use this usb which is going to be actually the same usb that uh, the yatur provides right so instead of using this one which is going to be hidden in the glove box or behind the glove box actually it's not going to be in the glove box going to be hidden behind the glove box and we can you know connect the USB directly to this cable and to this socket so actually this USB is going to be the same USB as this one but this one is going to look OEM and it's going to be uh, in the in the dashboard as you as you saw the demonstration earlier and then uh, well, so this applies for the USB connection and the same applies for the auxiliary connection from for your audio, okay? We are going to buy like a standard uh, auxiliary cable uh, with the pin, okay? And we are going to, you know, uh, strip it and as I'm going to show you next, we are going to connect this audio this audio to this audio in okay and same applies for this one so the, those are going to be basically extensions okay 
and also uh, what we are going to need is a simple and standard uh, USB cable okay BMW business CD unit it doesn't have any connection uh, for the USB or auxiliary connection at the back okay it doesn't have any any connection at all right so if, if I had a connection at the back I could just uh, plug in the USB cable and use uh, this socket instead of uh, going through all this uh, system okay to build a USB cable we are going to take a a standard USB cable that you're going to uh, buy uh, at any any shop right uh, so we are going to take one end and we are going to cut it right and we are going to strip all four uh, cables just like this okay so what we have is uh, we have the USB connection at one end and we are going to have uh, four cables at the other end okay the red the black green and white cable so uh, we are going to do uh, the, the, the same with the uh, USB socket cable which is this one so we are going to take the one that doesn't have the the protector and we are going to cut here okay we are going to remove this end this one we are going to cut here okay and we are going to see that we have again four cables uh, we are going to see that we have a brown orange blue and green cable once you strip this end okay and then so the mapping is um, really simple uh, we are going to uh, solder uh, the black cable from the USB to the brown cable from the USB socket cable and then again the red one okay the red one with the orange cable from this one and the green with the blue and then the white with the green okay so uh, black is for the ground red is for the uh, positive green is uh, d is for uh, data this one is going to be for the uh, data and white uh, the other the ground section of the data okay so once you uh, solder all these four cables you will have yeah well basically what i had is the socket on one side and you are going to be able to plug in at this end of the USB socket cable and on the other side you will have the USB connection which is this one and you can tell it's basically an extension because at the USB cable we are going to connect it to the Yatur USB entry and the other end we are going to be connecting it to the um, to the USB socket so for the auxiliary cable this is basically the same ah, it's going to be like an extension again um, in order for us to be able to use this plugin right basically you need to get any a, a auxiliary audio cable and you are going to make a cut on one end right you should be able to detect the right side and the left side of the cable basically we need to determine the uh, the tip of the of the cable of the of the pin and the second section of the of the plugin which is going to be the the left side and once you determine which one which was the left and which was the the right you need to 
uh, use these metal like insertions in order to plug them into the uh, into this socket I will leave the the part number for this socket it's really really cheap and it's uh, very common uh, because it is used uh, on many on many um, parts of the audio system and basically this is going to connect on the other side of of the um, of this socket right so that's why it's basically again an extension right because this one this end is going to be connected to this um, entry of the Yatur mp3 device and then this socket is going to be connected here right uh, so again we should be able to use this one uh, yeah, and it's going to look OEM okay so again um, when you when you detect the right side and the left side of the cable um, you are going to see uh, you, you, have, you need to use uh, two of these uh, metal insertions and solder each of the um, cables okay so you are going to have two one for the right side and one for the left side and you should be able to see that in this socket uh, there are four entries right uh, and they have like numbers one two three and four okay so we are going to use only the one and the two and three and four are going to left be left empty okay one is for the top uh, part of the um, of the pin okay that the, the, the top pin uh, which is going to be our right side and this one is going to be the second one is going to be the left side so uh, basically you insert these ones these two here in this socket and you push the socket down in order to crimp it and the cable is going to be ready okay so again you're going to see numbers here one two three and four and you are going to insert the right side the in the number one and the left side in the number two okay and three and four these are going to be left empty okay basically uh, the usb one which has the socket on one side and the usb terminal on the other side and then uh, on the the other cable which is the auxiliary cable you are going to have the audio pin cable on one side and this green socket on the other side But when you have uh, both cables already assembled, then uh, you need to plug them to the Yator device, right? Um, so you will have like uh, the USB entry, which you are going to uh, plug this section of the cable okay and then you have the auxiliary which you are going to use and plug uh, this section of the cable okay so now uh, you need to install uh, this socket in your dashboard and that is very easy because you just need to you know um, remove the the section of the dashboard when you need to insert this one. Well, I hope this this helped to you know uh, clarify. I didn't uh, have any animations handy, and I and I wasn't you know um, planning to uh, disassemble my uh, my installation because it's working okay, and because I think that for uh, educational purposes you know that this is what's going to be um, in fact better than you know seeing the actual installation 
just uh, I think that well this is this is all and if you have any any questions just uh, let me know thank you